Imativa slashed pricing on all three of their processors in preparation for their next-gen release of the Arm C1 Plus, the Arm C1 L Plus, and the XMC2 Plus. Let's discuss. Emotiva quietly announced the deep development of the next generation of the world-class processor line, which is based on a new lightning-fast Linux-based operating system with 10 times the power and speed of the previous generations. These next-gen processors dubbed the Arm C1 Plus, the Arm C1 L Plus, and the XMC2 Plus also brings gigabit ethernet and integrated Wi-Fi as well as a new modern web-based GUI that can run on any phone tablet or computer. But the biggest update, no doubt, is that Emotiva is finally adding a whole new HDMI system that supports HDMI 2.1 with 8K on all inputs and supports the most current object audio formats with Dolby Atmos and all new DTSX Pro and IMAX enhanced audio and video. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video, do me a solid and hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends. And if you decide to purchase anything from Emotiva and you would like to support the channel, please use my affiliate link in the description of this video or any video on my channel. Let's take a look at some of the side-by-side -side specs of the current gen processors and the new processors. All right, so the current generation of processors have 4K HDMI 2.0 boards with ARC and eARC, and the next gen upgrades will have 8K on all inputs and outputs. So that'll be HDMI 2.1 with ARC and eARC. And currently there's support for Dolby Atmos audio decoding and the next gen will have enhanced Dolby Atmos audio decoding. And I haven't been able to find out what that actually means, enhanced audio, enhanced Dolby Atmos audio, but I'll keep searching. So the current gen supports DTSX and the new generation upgrade will support DTSX Pro. So super excited about that. I'll talk about that more in a little bit. And then the new processors will have IMAX enhanced audio and video. For internet, you'll have hardwired ethernet on the current gen. And then on the next gen, you'll have built-in Wi-Fi and hardwired gigabit ethernet. So the current generations have basic app control. The new generation will have a fully embedded web setup and control system. I'm super happy to have this integration. I think this is the way of the future and all other AVRs and processors should include a web-based GUI for remote access. And then the current generation has an AKM DAC board. The new generation will have a new TI DAC board and upgraded audio. And the current generation has 100 watt power supply. And the new generation will have 200 watt auto switching power supply and will also support music streaming. I'm really excited about the upgrade to DTSX Pro, but what's the difference between DTSX and DTSX Pro. DTSX and DTSX Pro are different even though they share the same foundations. For home cinema, DTSX Pro takes a similar approach to Dolby Atmos, allowing up to 32 speakers to be arranged in layouts, each receiving its own part of the audio mix. Whereas legacy DTSX was only capable of up to 12 speakers for home cinema. In fact, DTSX Pro is not technically a format, but rather an unlocked version of DTSX for the home. A DTSX Pro capable AV processor can play back more than 12 discrete channels originally allowed by DTSX. So in other words, DTSX Pro brings the capabilities of the commercial version of DTSX to your private theater. The most noticeable benefit in a home environment will be the addition of wide channels and extra high channels. However, you wouldn't get unique content coming from all speakers. And this is where DTSX Pro makes a major and critical difference. A DTSX Pro system is capable of playing back through legacy speaker layouts such as 7.1, which is useful for owners of these types of setups. But clearly the ideal approach is for a speaker array set up in a similar way to Adobe Atmos system. The inclusion of DTSX Pro is great because it means that if you decide to expand your ARMC1 Plus to 20 or 24 or even more channels with their expansion modules, you can utilize every single speaker in your setup. So some exciting new software and hardware upgrades and new codecs come into the new Emotiva processors. But you're probably wondering, can my current generation of processors be upgraded? Emotiva says yes. 
Emotiva has lowered pricing on all three of their processors so that you can buy now and have peace of mind that your system can be upgraded in the future. However, there will be an upgrade fee. More on that in a bit. The new pricing on Emotiva processors are as follows. $3,749 for the RMC1, $3,199 for the RMC1L, and $2,499 for the XMC2. Tentative pricing on the new units are as follows. $5,499 for the RMC1 Plus, $4,499 for the RMC1L Plus, and $3,699 for the XMC2 Plus. Now, because Emotiva has to change multiple boards to install the new Linux-based operating system, you will have to send in your current generation processor. However, your processor will be treated as a trade-in. You'll ship your unit to Emotiva's facility, and in return, Emotiva will send you a brand new Plus model. Now, how about that? If you are an original purchaser who got the unit at the original full price, and this also includes UFL members and factory renewed purchasers who purchased a factory renewed unit when it was at original full price on or before October 2nd, 2022, the upgrade will cost $699. For everyone else, the RMC1 and RMC1L upgrade costs will be $1399, and the XMC2 upgrade cost will be $10.99. Now, at the time of this video, no other new information is known on the new processor models as Emotiva is still in development on next generation model updates. But that doesn't mean that we can't hope and speculate. So my question for you is, are you excited about this upgrade path? Do you have a current generation Emotiva processor? Are you willing to pay to upgrade your processor to a 10 times more powerful operating system with a new HDMI 2.1 board? Or are you bummed that RO3D isn't part of the new codec upgrade? Or maybe you're perfectly happy with your current setup and won't be upgrading. Let's get a discussion going in the comments. All right guys, this is some is super, super exciting news. I think I'm going to pivot here a little bit. I was going to upgrade or planned on saving up to upgrade to a Trinov, but, I think I'm going to go with the RMC1 Plus or 1, you know, whichever one is available at the time and then I'll have to upgrade. I would like to upgrade the expansion modules to make the RMC1 20 channels instead of 16 channels. But all this news is super exciting. I can't wait to find out more. Hopefully Emotivo will have the Texas Audio Roundup in Austin again and we can find out some more information between now and then if that happens. But again, let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these upgrades. As always, no matter where you're at on your home theater journey, make sure you enjoy it. For Haterite Cowboy Cinema, I'm Haterite Cowboy, and I'll see you guys in the next video.